Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Rory, and you're watching Coffee and Crafts. So today is day... what day is it? We're doing day 8. Everybody else is up to day 10, so we've just got a few more days to catch up. So today's is Beads and Postage Stamp Dangle. So I I was thinking, I was like, what's it supposed to dangle from? Because, <laughs> you know... We gotta have something to dangle it from. So here's our page. So I thought I would reach into my already pre-done ephemera and grab a tag. And this one is, I just love this way it turned out. It's very shimmery. And it has postage stamps already on it. So we're gonna dangle some more stuff off of it. But it's gonna have to go into a pocket. So put this aside. I grabbed a piece of our cardstock. And I think I'm going to put this on the front of it, so that'll look pretty. And our, we've got some beads and some dangly stuff and a bulb pin. We have a postage stamp. It's kind of a fake one. This is out of that same kit that I've been using. And so is this little picture of the roses. I thought that was pretty. I think I'm going to back them you know, back to back and cut this one to look like a postage stamp. So I think that'd be pretty. And then we have an extra little tag to stick in our pocket and something to back other things with. And today's animal is going to be a giraffe. So that is the plan, Stan. I've got sewing stuff, got things to make our dangle with. Um, I think we're good. Um, the only other thing is I'm going to have to have is an eyelet, you know, so I'm going to put this to the side just really quick. And let's see. Where, where, where are we going to put this giraffe? Oh, maybe we just make another journaling card out of it. Could We could do that. Or put the dangle on it. That's another option. Let's figure it out as we go. So let me move this out of the way so we can work on this stuff. I grabbed a pair of there are those kid scissors, you know, with the decorative edge and the one I have makes the edge of anything you cut look like a postage stamp. So I'm going to cut this. To look like a postage stamp. And yeah, and it doesn't do the greatest of jobs, but you just pull those out and you have that little ripply edge. I've seen some people use uh, thinning shears. I think uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah uses thinning shears. And that, that looks really cool too. And other people just, like some people use, um, oh, goodness. Some other people use the uh what are they called my brain just left my body um the zigzag scissors, scissors you know this has stuff all over the back of it why i think it's glue but uh pinking shears that's the word <laughs> I heard y'all yelling at me, pinking shears. But I like the way this works because it really looks, makes it look like a stamp. I'm not going to post and stamp this one though. Because once I've, uh, you can see the edge now. I probably will still uh, ink them. That's really going to pop off the white. There we go. Oh, come on, fingers. Yeah, that really pops now. Okay. Let me do the front side of this. Just to 
get rid of that that edge. Alrighty. Now I think I'm gonna add a eyelet. And I might, hold on, I'm going to hold off on this just for a second because I have another idea. <laughs> I'm going to use oh, my UV resin. So let me, um, we better do the eyelid first. So let's do that. Glue these together. if you've never used UV resin, it's really cool. It I think it works better than glossy accents because it'll actually glue things together. Top, top, yeah. You can actually, like, what I did the other day with those butterfly wings, no glue was holding those things. So I just put a little dab of uh, UV resin down and hardened it and they weren't going anywhere okay so let's pick out a do i have black i don't see any no no black wait a minute i think that's black nope darn it I gotta get some more of these. Most of those are those little, you know, tacks with the split bottoms on. Yeah, gotta get some more. I don't wanna use the great big ones because those will just take over this whole little tag and put it right, yeah, right in this corner here. Okay. Alrighty. Now, the UV. I'm just gonna put it Right here. Now this stuff can smell atrocious. So I suggest you either have a fan on, open window, something. Come on, get rid of those. No bubbles. It's supposed to be self-leveling also. So if you ever look for any, this is uh, this is good stuff. Yeah, it's self-degassing, which means it gets rid of its own bubbles. And then you buy this little UV flashlight. And I need it. Oh. Something to fill that in with. Oh, it's already full. Pretty hard. There's a little hole. Teeny weeny itty bitty hole. Bubble popped and left a little tiny hole. There we go. This is just super simple. Doesn't look good though. I have a big bubble. It only takes just a few seconds too, which is interesting. Let me put a second coat. Get rid of that big bubble. There we go.
Come on, get rid of the bubble. <laughs> I want to get rid of the bubble. All right, that's better. And hit it with the UV again. You don't want to do this near any open windows either, like where the, I'm sorry, where the sun's coming in, because it will cure it before you get a chance to do anything with it. Some people will do this and then stick it out in the sunshine for a couple hours, make sure it's cured all the way. It's not necessarily a bad idea. But while it's curing, you can smell, it's like a, a, a fume. I don't mind anymore after doing, you know, 25 years of doing, being a nail tech, you get used to fumes. That's why I act the way I do. <laughs> okay, that's good. That looks really cool. Nice. And there's the other side. I mean, yeah, you could do both sides if you want to. And I have a bubble again. Oh, well, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So what we're going to work on now is going to be the dangle dangle, the dangle portion of it. The, th the thing it's hanging from. So I'm going to pick a very small needle here. Hopefully this is small enough to go through these. I think it is. And I'm going to get the bulb pin out. Bulb pin. And maybe a fairy. Why not? And, oops. Stop rolling around. I need to check. Make sure it goes all the way through. Yep. Okay. Get some more of these out. Of these. I love these. These are so pretty. They look like ice. Okay. Now we're going to use. Let's hope this will go through. I hope it's. it's I know it's strong enough. A pair of scissors would be great. So. Mm, it might not be. It might be too big. Let me grab something else. I think, since we're doing purples, I'll use some purple. We'll just use this. It's just a embroidery thread. And let's see if I can get this <laughs> threaded. So, come on. Oh, I'll be back. Okay, so I found this little piece of wire that came out of a ribbon. And I'm going to, I fit it through the eye of the needle already. I'm going to loop it. Feed it back through, hold it, put the th thring through. Come on, get through there. <laughs> it just doesn't want to cooperate. And then pull it through. It better work. And 
the string doesn't want to come through. There we go. Ta-da! So save that wire, folks, because it works as a needle threader very well. Put that over there. Okay. Now I'm going to put a knot on this end. <laughs> Wasn't much of a knot, was it? Just came right out. Okay, now I'm going to put a big bead and a small bead. And a small bead. So it's like two two to one. Okay, why are you not going through? That one's too small. Some of these will work and some of them won't. So that's one big one, two small ones, then one big one, two small ones. If we can find ones that fit, <laughs> that one's not going to fit. I don't know why some of them, they're like mixed up. Some work, some don't. Isn't that weird? I don't do a lot of bead work, so I don't have one of those little beading trays or anything like that. That's gonna look pretty though. As long as we find ones that fit. Nope. Nope. I don't know why some work and some don't. That's just so strange. There's one. That looks pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing I did with the fairy. Run it through a couple times. And then run back through it. Can we get around the corner? <laughs> it's not cooperating. Okay, there we go. Maybe one more time. Cool. I'm going to stitch this down onto the front side. Like so. And then add one more bead. Maybe two. We'll just use it the last two. That one looks horrific. Looks like it got gluey on one side or something. Okay. And then I'm going to take my bulb pin. Run it through the bulb pin. We're going to... Oh, come on. There we go. That looks cool. Digging it. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and tie this off and snip it. Okay. 
Where'd you go? <laughs> you want to cooperate again? <sighs> Come here. There we go. Okay. And snip this little end here. Awesome. That looks cool. Oh, I bent it. Coolness. All right, now I'm going to take the bulb pin, and run it under my ribbon. Very cool. Dig it. I may end up shortening it so it's a little bit shorter. Probably. But it looks neat the way it does. So, let's put the needle back so I don't lose it because I will. It'll get lost on this desk. It's so tiny. And if you're wondering where this came from, I have a video on how I made this little needle holder. And I can put these other beads away. And then we'll make a pocket really, really fast. Oh, I got away. Okay. Now for the pocket. That this will all sit down inside of. Let me grab my cutter. We don't need a real deep one. No, no, no. We'll make it a th three and a half inch deep. And it has to be Five inches wide. Okay. Here that is. Take our paper that we want to use and place it like that. So take my glue. I'm just going to use a arc letter glue and this bottle has seen better days. Get all the way to the edge. Wait and peel up. And then we'll place it down close to that edge. Get me trim off what we don't want. And just trim it off of our sheet. I love this paper, it just came out so pretty. And it's going to look good with the blue and the purple. And the tag has the same roses in the background. So that it's going to look good. It's going to look real good. And just trim this little edge. Yeah. We can always put the giraffe on the front of a pocket. That'd be cute. Oh, that looks nice. Let's see. I'll leave that out. Go ahead and ink it. Not a whole lot, just a little. I'm 
Oh, he's going to be way too tall for that. So we're going to make him into a, a journaling card. Yes. Cut right under those letters. Oh, that looks cute. And around the corners. Everybody's doing good today. You guys all caught up with your defend member? Because I'm almost there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't normally get behind on things like this. I really don't. Boy, this, it really, this one got me. I'm almost caught up. There we go. Now, should we put something on the front of this? I don't know. Let's see what it's going to look like in the book. And we'll see. Actually, that looks pretty good. Oh, I'll know. Okay, let's put it in first, and I'm going to decorate it. I'm just going to put it down three sides, make our little pocket. Always holding it by the edge I don't want glue on. Here. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab some lace. I want something different. Just something unusual. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I ordered a bunch of lace from on Etsy. And then I also ordered a bunch of doilies and stuff. Oh my gosh. And it all came in at once and I'm just like, holy cow. It is all so pretty. And I'm loving it. I use my Fabri-Tac. My new Fabri-Tac. Yay. And get rid of the goobers. We'll actually use it. Okay. I'm going to add a butterfly, because why not? I need to find something that'll go nice. I've got so many in here, but i got to cut out a bunch more, too, though. This one would go good with the... Ah, off, off. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. That's pretty. Alrighty, more fabric. Time. I 
just put a little bit of an angle. Make it more interesting looking. And let's see. Oh, goodness. We have our tag with our dangle. I still see that needs to be shortened up. And our giraffe. You notice the colors are kind of like the giraffe colors. <laughs> yeah, that definitely needs to be shortened up. How am I going to do this? Let's see. Yeah, on there. Oh, I know. Goodness. I'll just let those hang off the other side. And we will just go through the center here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's mucho better. Oh, much better. Oh, I love it. Cool. Very awesome. Okay, well, this was, what day was this? Eight? Yeah, this is day eight. And it was <sighs> stamp dangle. And what? Beads. <laughs> and we used the giraffe. So. Giraffe stopped by the post office to mail off his package of goodies for his bestie in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, that's not spelled right. He hoped he liked what he sent. Cookies! <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, folks. So this is day eight all done. We actually got a dangle made. Goodness, I haven't made one of those in a really long time. And uh, yeah, my little stash of pre-done ephemera and everything is getting kind of low. So we may end up having to do a uh, like a mass make or something. So, but yeah, this came out great. I love the way it looks. And I hope yours is coming along just as well. And I really hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. 
don't forget I have my uh, live feed tonight at five. So yeah, hope to see you all there. And I sure do love you bunches. Bye.